Think of the equals sign as a set of scales that you always want to be balanced. Whatever goes on this side, before the equal sign, must be the same as what goes on this side, after the equal sign. Otherwise, the scales will tip over in one direction. Let's try this out. If I put 350 plus 50 on this side of the scales, what number should I put on the other side of the equal sign to balance them out? Did you put 400? That's right! Sometimes you will have a calculation before the equal sign, like this one. And after the equal sign, the answer. In this case, 400. 350 plus 50 equals 400. It doesn't matter which way round we put the answer and the calculation, the scales will stay balanced because they have the same value on both sides. It doesn't always have to be an answer on one side of the equal sign. You can also have an equal sign between two calculations to show that the answers are the same. Let's take the 400 off the scales. Can you think of a different calculation that could go on the other side that has the same answer and will balance the scales? There are many different options. Let's try Thanks for watching. Please log into your Discovery Education Espresso service to watch the full video and download supporting resources and activities. If you're not a subscriber, visit discovereducation.co.uk to request a trial.